everybody. Mike here. Uh, this video I'm making because it's probably long overdue, people have asked. I finally am going to do a video on the final conversion of this van into a camper van. Everything I did, and you'll see, uh, I did not make permanent. Uh, everything can be backed to the original in about 30 minutes. So let's get started. So I have a 2008 Dodge Grand Caravan. Um, the outside has a 100 watt Renogy solar panel. Uh, and then it goes to the charge controller, which then goes back to batteries in the bottom of the back. I took the stone go seats completely out, so I have a big bay back there that's very deep and very big with a lot of storage. Um, that run that goes to two batteries that are uh, 75 amp hours each. They are used batteries out of wheelchair. I put them in parallel to make a total of 150 amp hours. That runs this refrigerator. Actually, it goes to this voltmeter here, which goes to this outlet where I can plug many things in. And that goes to this refrigerator. It's an Alpi Cool. I believe it's a 21 quart. It fits right under the bed. Speaking of the bed, it's a mess because I just got back from a trip, but uh, it's on a bed frame, a cot frame that I found at the thrift store for 10 bucks. Put plywood on top of that, and then a memory foam mattress on top of that. I have storage bins underneath, socks and underwear, too many shirts and pants, and a little bit more storage back there. Um, I have a toilet that I can use if I need to. I do not sit on my bed. I could, but the uh, there's not much headroom. So what I do is I prop this chair up. I can literally sit in here and do whatever I need to do. So it works out great. Coming to the back. This is kind of like my kitchen area. I have a two burner stove, shelves for foods, pots, pans, more canned food. I have a seven, seven gallon water tank. And I have tons of storage underneath here. I have a solar shower, other odds and ends that I keep down in there. I won't go through everything I have. Extension cords. I have a TV, which I rarely use. It's a 12 volt, so it doesn't use a lot of juice also. Oh, and also my refrigerator is 12 volt. It's AC and DC, so I can switch it up. I have extension cord with... Um, Power outlet so I can switch if I'm plugged in somewhere I can switch it up I have my outside mat and my zero gravity chair I use the front passenger seat for storage uh, my water bottled water anything else I need handy but yeah this is a very quick overview of, of my uh, camper van Another thing is I have two fans that uh, I usually don't have to run, but I have a fan back here and a fan over here. I have Lucy light that I use. I also have strung up this solar light. Got my solar sitting right there, so it's always charging. And so I don't need uh, I don't need to use my battery for any kind of light. I have my blackout curtains and my curtain curtains. So yeah, anyone who is just wondering what the whole thing looks like, put this used carpet in here that I found. Everything works. I mean, everything works the way I originally wanted it to work. 
Uh, no problems. I could literally live in here indefinitely if I needed to. Oh, and this is a good thing to have, these rain guards. So you can keep your windows cracked if you need to. Oh, also a neat idea is this. You can get these candles at Walmart. They're like a dollar forty-two each. You tape them together, and they make really good heat source. If it gets cold out, that'll raise your temperature in your van to well, ten to fifteen degrees higher. So, a lot of tips and tricks, but that's a basic overview of the van. Hope this is helpful to someone. If you want some ideas, you can go to my YouTube channel, Minivan Mike and see more detailed information. Thanks for watching.